another day, another outing. Today's drip is actually kind of questionable. Obviously, I've got a 20 point fire shot to the boys as always. And I've got this vest top kind of thing going on. All black with a pair of, I believe these are the True Religion jeans. Obviously, the Nikes down bottom. I personally think the fit looks good. I saw a couple of boys, someone called me fruity. Someone said it's questionable. But shout out to Jackman like Jay Harv, he knows who he is. He liked the fit, so this one's for you, my boy. Today has a lot of potential, low key. I thought we were gonna go to a market. I don't know what to expect. It's a very, apparently it's like the best market in Palermo, so that should be really good. And then, maybe if the time is still good, the lady I met yesterday, the Ghana lady on the train, I might be going to their place to meet their, her family and the other Ghanaians. You know, you know I'm a sucker for Ghana. Can't get rid of these people. So that's my real vibe for the day. Nothing crazy. Just chill vibes for my last full day in Palermo. I feel like I've seen everything in the first two or three days. There's another beach I was meant to go to, but I wasn't that interested, I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't as good as the one yesterday. And I feel like I don't wanna go from being here to go down, you know. I'd rather go from Mandelo to Cefalo, but obviously I didn't do that that way around. But it's okay, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Very content. So when I get to the market, I'll probably check in with you then. Till then, ciao. Yes, yeah, so I've arrived at um, Balero Market. It's funny because I'm actually not going to buy anything. Well, I might buy some fruits and whatnot. I'm not going to buy anything to cook. Because what am I going to do that for? Not that I can't cook, but I'm literally here for one more day. And it feels pointless. The market's alright. I feel like it's slightly overhyped. Then again, I've not really gone anywhere yet. School's there. Dove è Bellero Market? Bellero. Bellero? Where's your food? Qui. Not me finding a Ghana restaurant. <laughs> not me about to turn around and go to eat. That should be amazing. Inshallah. So we've got the, the supermarket. Really, really can't get rid of the supermarket because people are still everywhere. But um, yeah, I'm going to ask them what the menu is and I'll have to munch real quick. Do you say? I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to go to the watch it. Obviously, you notice you can never take the boy out of Ghana. I might be in Italy, but I always still eat jollof, watch it. Fish, if you have a pet, it's a little while. I'm almost said Ghana for the three while. I already asked him how to move on. You need to take a crab, so you need to walk a crab. What I realized is this trip is actually just full of wholesome vibes. I've just finished um, up at the Ghana restaurant. I had some jollof and wachi with some shit or whatnot, and some veg. It's just, this place just makes me feel so happy. You know, look, look at Ghana again. See the flag. And it's so weird because. In my head, I've never ever thought I'd hear tree and Italian mixed together in my life. That's something I never thought would happen. And there I was sitting in the restaurant, hearing both. It was just so weird. It was very, very weird. And the funny thing is, the position I was sitting in, I was facing towards the actual, um, I was facing towards the actual restaurant. So it got to some time where I was thinking, I actually forgot I was in Italy. I genuinely forgot I was in Italy, I thought I was in Ghana or something. Then I looked at the sun and I thought, oh, there's actually Italian people here. <laughs> because the only people walking in were black Ghanaians. And all here was tree. The TV on there was tree as well. So I was thinking, like I'm back home or something. Not knowing that I'm still on, still on the holiday, you know? So I'm definitely, definitely enjoying this one. So um, as always, community man, for the community, by the community. I feel another vibes. But yeah, I was actually meant to meet one of the Ghanaians now. But I called her, she didn't pick up, so I might just go home and chill. This looks kind of cool. You know? See, I'm probably just gonna go home and chill now. But it's been a good day. <laughs> Always a good day when you're with the, the Ghana folk, you know? So, honors and upwards. So I was on my way to Jeffalo, and this lady sat across from me on the train. She looked at me, I looked at her, obviously black people, you know how it is. And 
she just mind her own business. In a classic case, she got her phone out, start sending her WhatsApp voice note. And then I heard what she said, I was thinking, hold on a second, this sounds very, very familiar. Just like she's speaking true. And then the Ghanaian in me start kicking in. I said, hey, yo, this is what I love to see. Love quick Ghana link up everywhere we go. I didn't say anything, anything, anything for a while till probably halfway through the journey. Then I said, so I said, my, my mom Patrick to say, and she was so, I mean, like, um, like mum, like woman, auntie, whatever you want to call her, uh, how are you? And she was so, so sure. I really wish I recorded her, her reaction because she was so confused. The funny thing, she saw me as well, because she said it in her head. She said, oh, he looks like a Ghanaian, but she probably doesn't know how to speak, so I won't say anything to him. And she said, let me just do my own thing and just film the video. So obviously, I exchanged numbers, and now when I finish from this little park, I'm probably going to go say hi to them and see what they're saying. So that should be fun, very cute, very wholesome. Then I just go home afterwards. Easy life today, you know, nothing serious, just um, just linking up the garden folks, you know, nothing crazy. But I'll show you where I'm at right now. It's a nice little park. I'm just out here chilling for a bizzle. Just very tired, that's all. <laughs> And see, I'm fat. See, if I wear it. Ah, you're fat. Yeah, you're not snack off. Mm. Aha, you're fat. Yeah, there'll be a runny and tears. Yeah, you can't bro for now. Put your car tire for. And see, um. So, obviously, guys, this is um, the auntie I told you I met on the on the train. Yeah. On her way to. Uh, well, I was going to Sheffield. You were going to. Where were you going to again? I went to Lascari. And uh, so, so obviously you're Ghanaian. What brings you to uh, yeah. Italy? Yeah. Why Italy? That's of all places you're gonna come to. For let, let's pass it. Okay. It was my husband who came here before me. Okay. So I have no choice. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> because of the marriage system, mm. he came and then picked me in a year, in a year, in, in one year time. Okay. My husband was here since. Uh, you told me you've been 19, here for about 30 years now, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting to. Yeah. You speak Italian better than you speak your tree. Or your tree better than oh, Italian? No, 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 no. It can't be possible. You don't think so? <laughs> no, tree is fine. So, I speak tree nicely than Italian uh, language, yeah. But after the tree? After the tree? Yeah, which one? The Italian language. Italian. Yeah. Then, then English? Yeah. Okay, because okay. Because at my working place, we speak Italian. Okay. Anywhere. Oh. Even supermarket, everywhere you speak Italian. Their Italian. own, yeah, mm. Italian language. Describe Palermo to somebody who's not been here before. <sighs> As for me, I like the weather. The weather, it seems like it's African from, weather. From, mm. Yeah. Everything is cheap here. Right. Yeah. So, this is my house. We've come to uh, Auntie's Thank place. Yeah. We're going to see the family. So, we'll catch up with you when we're in. Or meet the family. So, yeah, I've told you I came to uh, Auntie's house and I met some of the kids as well. So, today I met her son and introduce yourself. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's me, my issue, bro. Come from the streets of Palermo. You feel me? We're balling every day, balling every day. We're here. Shout out to my G, you know. So tell me, why why did you start drill? Why? Drill? Because, to be honest, I was an old school rapper, you feel me? Yeah. Because in Palermo, the, the tradition is very, very hard. You have, you, you have to know how to speak bars. But later on, you know, I catch up with the drill because, you know, the beat is so hard. But me, I'm not a drill artist. I do even reggae, bro, to be honest. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I'm a really versatile guy. Can you drop a quick piece down for us? Yeah. Which language? Uh, mix. Let's say a bit of Italian first. Italian, okay, okay. Oh, let me do it in Sicily. Okay. Tu risantura, cusci ta sera cura, cusci con mia muccia te ca fama la figura. Vitti cose buone, vitta roba pura, vitti un cristiano mensa sata, ca puntura, carna giorno scura. Mundo era nebro, mi disse compa, vieni ca, ci disse di mu bro, mi disse bro, non ti chi piccioli, ok, si bro. You chill, uh, tough for the season. They want me to speak real freestyle. I can do this shit while I'm smoking. I'm so high. I'm looking through the window. Yeah, nigga, just wanna blow the window. My okay. nigga just came out of London. So please, let me tell you something. This is um. my Easter be spending all these honeys. All this bad. Yeah, I can't say bitch. My mom is here, bro. So, hey, you know, not the mom. You, know, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying, bro? No, so no, respect, respect. Shout out, shout out to you. 
I can't, I can't curse in front of my mama. No, I, hear, I, hear. I, can't. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I can't. So you, you shout out to my G, you know. Shout out to my G. Yeah, respect, You're respect. About to shit, bro. So um, yeah, we'll follow. We'll tag his IG down, his his music, and it's um, you heard the bars. It's the real real guy. Yeah, yeah. Respect, I'm real, respect. Bro. I'm real. Follow me on Instagram, bro. I'm the king of Palermo. You can ask anyone. Bro. On God, on God, on God, on God. Period, bro. Period. Damn, lit damn. nation, lit nation. Tell him, tell him, bro. That's lit. So let's see. Yeah. Obviously, the boys just finish up at Auntie Mercy's place. That was so so wholesome. I've been there for a couple hours now, and we we're just um, chilling and talking. Uncle was there as well. And we're just talking about Palermo, how it used to be, how things have changed, how you know it's hard to get work here and whatnot. But it was really, really good vibes. I might talk a bit more about it later, but we'll have to see about that. Definitely, definitely recommend Palermo with all its joys and treasures. It's just been so fun. And obviously we saw Auntie's uh, son, which is so funny. So it turns out that he's been doing music here in Palermo for a couple of years now. And he's got a couple of nice hit songs which are all on youtube which i'll probably put the link down below at some point so yeah it's been really really cool i'll just show you the area right now just sit. Sit very very all very chic very cool you know it's cool very thankful that i'm able to you know link up with the ghana community in palermo by the time here hopefully i see some more of my people throughout my journey and it's actually funny because i've deepened it I've probably spoken more trees than I have Italian whilst I've been here, which is kind of scary. But it's actually fine. It's completely fine. Nothing wrong with speaking more, you know, tree with some Ghanaian people. So it's been a really, really good day. A really good day. I'm probably going to end it here if I don't end it later. So as always, thanks for watching these vlogs. Come on, kissing and crama. It's not dog up there. Thank you for watching these vlogs. I hope you continue to enjoy them. And I'm sure you will. Hopefully I'll be able to go to some better places as well. Just for good. I said better places. Some more interesting places again. And you just fab with you guys, you know? Obviously, the one that looks like the drip. Okay, so till next time. Ci vediamo a dopo ragazzi.